Pop this sucker open. And pop this. Hello there, everybody. We're in the spooky, scary cavern. Okay, actually, it's not even that scary. We are in the cavern zone now, and that's pretty cool. In the last episode, we finished a business in the ice zone by restoring Empoleon to his former steel wheel self. And we also did a bunch of attraction in the beach zone. So, two good things knocked out. We also got some upgrades, and we're now here in the cavern zone to find Blaziken. However, we've learned that... We cannot get the blaze again until we find the missing rail because we can't use the minecart and you need the minecart to visit blaze again. <sighs> Mouthful, one sec. Alright, sorry about that. Just had a mouthful. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into our search. And let's go over here first of all. And hey, Gibble, what's up? Hey there, don't come this way. It's dangerous here. I'm playing with the minecart around here. The rail is missing and the minecart can't be used anyway. Don't worry, once the rail is back, we'll return it. Alright, Gibble. I'll trust you. Also, convenient Pikachu on sign is convenient. I'm like the only Pikachu here, and yet they po chose Pikachu of all Pokemon to put on that sign. Eh, screw it, whatever. Anyways, let's get moving forward. And Ooh, Mawile. I love Mawile. Mawile is such a cool Pokemon. I love her. Oh, you're from outside, aren't you? What do you want in the cavern zone? The hot spring dried up. Sorry about that. I have when the ground shook the other day. Oh, you're not here for that. You want to see Blaziken? That's no surprise, really. You know what? This place is so dark that some of us are leaving. We don't want to come here. Huh. Interesting tidbit. All right, thanks for that. As you can see, we have two different pathways, and this zone is actually pretty big. We have this way over here, which is the way that Mawal went down with the Zubats, and we have this way over here. So how about we open up by going over this way? Because there's some interesting stuff here, like a Magnemite in a crate of all things. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know why he's in there. Like I don't know why Pokemon chose to be in these crates, but apparently they do. My advice to you, especially in this zone, is break all the crates. It's going to pay off in the long run. Trust me. And hey, it's Meowth, my good buddy Meowth. I've come to check out on the famed hot spring, but I found it all dried up. How disappointing. What's that? A skill game? How about a quiz? That's right, he's not like Poke Park 2 or he's a shop vendor. Instead, here he is a regular Pokemon, kind of. Alright then, let's begin. My first question. Was there a hot spring in the cavern zone when you arrived? No. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta do the anime. That's right. My second question. Who's the keeper of the lava zone? Blaziken. That's right. <laughs> My third question. How many zoom out of there? 11. I totally guessed that one! Yes! Got him. You've answered all my questions correctly. Well done indeed. Maybe your friend? No, play with me again. Sorry, Meowth, but we'd be stuck here forever doing quizzes if I was here, so... I love you, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye for now. And, whoa, big guy Machamp is here. Where's the hot spring? Did it dry up? I heard it was a good one. I've been looking forward to it. Hey, you. Why don't, you, why don't you try Obstacle Hop? That's right, of all things, even though he looks like a battle Pokemon, he's Obstacle Hop, in fact. Nothing even comes close to my Obstacle Hop. I'll have to take 100... Of course it's... Uh... Fine, 100 berries. Ha <laughs> ha, no need for berries from now on. Alright, show me what you're made of. Show me your moves. So just like before, Obstacle Hop, pretty simple. Point A, point B, except the champ here. Is extreme. He throws stuff at you, even though he's got. Whoa! I was gonna say he's got bad accuracy, but he just slammed that thing in my face. And I just walked off that time. Okay, focus, Zachary. Don't, don't. Oh, <laughs> what? He slammed it in my face when I was already in the zone. You gotta be. There we go. That was really funny. He just like slammed it. Like he just freaking punched me off there. He just like, oh, oh, oh you want to come near me? No. <laughs> but champ. Wonderful. I like you. Let's be good. Good friend. You punched me in the face. By the way, my friend Machamp is coming soon. He loves battles. And this one is actually a battle Machamp that's going to show up. There's two different Machamps in the zone. 
It's one of the few times where the Pokemon of the zone is actually have different activities, even if they're the same Pokemon. So it's kind of cool. Uh, hey, Teddy Ars is here. Hey there. We befriended you in the Iceberg Zone. Let's see. Some of a winning smile has helped everyone stop fighting. Uh, you know what, Teddy Ars? I'm already talking to you. I'll, I'll play a quiz with you. Why not? Right. Here's the first question. Can Zubat or Golbat walk around? Golbat can. Believe it or not, if you guys you don't know, Golbat actually has feet. He has legs. He can walk. Here comes the second question. What is Meryl going to Cavern Zone protecting? Believe it or not, this one is actually berries. We'll learn more about that in the future. Finally, from a friend in the Iceberg Zone, question three. What kind of slide is in Pullman's attraction? Wait, what kind of slide is in Pullman's attraction the Iceberg Zone? It is a... a woe slide? <laughs> I think that, 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 that sounds... that doesn't sound correct. Anyway, snow slide. You're right. Wow, that's great, you know so much. And there we go. Uh, good game, Teddy Racer, good game. Next up, Torchic. Talk to me. I was gonna play here for a while, but the minecart stopped working. I can't return to the lava zone. I wanted to play a Charmander when I got back there. Charmander? Hmm. Excuse me? Charmander came to the lava zone a while ago. He almost fell into the lava there, but Blaziken saved him. Hmm. I wonder when the minecart will work again. So, battle with me? Yes, let's do it. Alright, here I come. Wow, Torchic's fast. Jeez, you should have been a chase Pokemon. Okay, yeah, she is really fast, but as you can see, our Thunderbolt has more range, but no more damage, and our HP is now free and not two. And now, since I haven't shown the case it off yet, let me show you what Iron Tail is all about. A quick and powerful melee attack. Seriously, Iron Tail is actually really good. You're so strong. Play with me again. Oh, let's be friends. And there we go. Another friend adds to the book, and I think, I want to say that puts us at 78. Dang it, I was so close. I was one off. Anyways, though, over here we have Driftbloom Stop, and these things are always good, so check it out. I don't know how Driftbloom flies in and out of here since we're in the middle of a cave, but hey, you know what? Nintendo logic, dang it. Anyways, though, let's keep moving it. There's the Marowak we were, talk we were talking about earlier. Hey you, don't come too close. I'm protecting berries here. Otherwise no one else will eat all the berries you see. Huh. Well, I guess we know about the berry protector. And there's Snorlax sleeping right there. We're not gonna bother talking to him for quite some time. But what we are gonna bother talking to is Cranidos. My big brother was excited to hear about Lightning Strike. I wonder if he's if he's met Lightning Strike yet. Do you enjoy battles? Heck yes I do. Alright, battle me. Alright, Cranidos. See what you got. And bye, Golbat. There we go. Jump in there. Iron Tail. So as you can see, Thunderbolt to Iron Tail is a very good damage combo. And oh, I forgot you can't dodge uh, ramming attacks like that. They just hold on to you, and most Pokemon's hitboxes are really big when they're tackling. Ah, I'm so mad. I'll win next time. Talk to me again, won't you? Bye. And there we go. Be Kratos. Now go back. Also, is it just me? Or I know this is like what Golbat would probably look like because he's not going to keep his wings out at all times. But he looks so weird whenever he's doing this. Like Pokemon Stadium here, Pokemon Snap anywhere. Anyways, though, did you see the Torterra on the way to the Cavern Zone? He was headed for a Metal Zone to visit Venusaur. Let's see, how about a chase? Sure thing, Golbat. Alright, let's begin. And no, he's not going to walk. That'd be hilarious if he just walked and you had to chase him like that. But no, he's going to fly. Like However, he has Super Sonic behind him, which will not confuse you, thankfully. It'll just knock you back if you get hit by it. So just be careful. My advice is go to a little bit of the left, a little bit of right of where he's flying. And there we go. Not that hard, but hey. Just look up for Super Sonic and you'll be fine. Oh, wonderful. Let's be friends. And there we go. We got go back. We caught him. We got him. You know, we, we totally like caught him with a Pokeball, you know, like regular Pokemon. Anyways, though, as you can see, we got a Scizor over here. Let's talk to him. Scizor. I'm happy he's going to battle tough Pokemon. Will you battle me? Alright. Great. Here we go. And yeah, believe it or not, even though he may seem like it's Scizor, it's not the big baddie Pokemon of the zone, so... Yeah. Uh, nice attempt to try and hit me, Scizor. Alright, let's move in. Slap him in the face with that tail. Give him a slap. And, nice try. Double slap. The Pokemon move. Yeah, I'm using double slap. There we go. 
Excellent, you don't waste your moves. I like to be your friend. Call me on your help with attractions. And there we go, another Pokemon. All right, now we should be at 80. Yes, we hit the 80 milestone. Yeah. I was gonna say that's halfway there, but I forgot it's 193, which I think, yeah, the half would have to be a decimal, but I don't know what the actual rest of the number would be. Anyways, though, let's check out over here. I'm so hungry. They say that the lava zone is a cool machine. It digs up as much iron ore as you want. The mine car is broken, though. Can you smash some crates for me? Maybe I'll find a piece of iron ore for me. Uh, okay. Random request is random, but here's some iron ore. Ta-da! Then we need to go find him. There he is. Why'd you run off? I thought you should just stay where you are when I'm trying to bring this to you, don't you think? Jeez. Anyways, though, come on. Bring him over. I really wish you could upgrade Pikachu's carrying speed. Wow, a piece of iron ore for me? Thank you. A friend is a, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And there we go, Aaron's our friend. Sweet. Yummy. I wonder why she had the rail instead of a piece of iron ore. Huh? What we're talking about? A cutie mawile. I saw Mawile chew off a minecart rail the other day. Oh. So she's the one behind the case. She must go to prison for this. We must find charges and... One sec. There we go. I oh. Hey, man, the mic, what's up? So that makes two Magnemite, so looking pretty good, but let's keep our eye out for more. You never know. There might be a third one. I actually kind of forget if there's a third one or if it's just two, so um, uh, don't take my word for it. Let's try and talk to Zubat. There we go. We're discussing how to make the cavern zone exciting. Hey, you. How about a chase? Sure thing. All right. Way to go. Catch me if you can. And now I'm thinking of Sonic the Hedgehog. God dang it. <laughs> All right, Zubat. Let's see what you got. Let me just run in front of you. Let me just run in front of you. I can't reach you, dang it. <laughs> That's kind of funny, just standing next to each other like, uh, don't tag me please. And I'm thinking just like, nope. Got him. I was trying to disappear into the crowd. You caught me though. Can we play again? We're all your friends now. And there we go, Zubat's our friend now. Now, I won't lie, this is actually the first zone where I don't remember where every Pokemon is, if not where, who all the Pokemon are in the zone. Because up to this point in the Metal Zone, in the Arctic Zone, the Beach Zone, all those zones, I actually know where every Pokemon is by heart. But I don't know in this zone. This is the first zone where I start forgetting Pokemon. So let's hope we don't miss too many. Anyways, Mawal, we got some explaining to do. Someone was watching me, I see. It's true, totally true. I cut off the rail using the jaws on the back of my head. You wanna know what the rail is? Sorry, I don't know. Actually, that isn't true. I know. I'll tell you, if you can beat me in a skill game. You wanna play chase? All right, my while, let's go. Okay, here we go, and oh, jeez. That mouth is threatening. Now, playing chase with my while. Be careful, because her jaw will bite you. If you try and get close to her in the wrong direction. So what you're gonna want to do, actually do, is you want to get ahead of her if you can. I, I screwed it up. You want to get ahead of her and come at her from the right or left like so. That doesn't... Pro Pikachu would... If we're being honest here, Pikachu would probably be in tiny little bits after getting bitten by that thing. Like, Jesus, that thing's huge. You didn't have to tag me so hard. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. The trio hit the rail somewhere. Find a trio and talk to him. Why did I break the rail? Because no one can leave this zone while the minecart isn't running. Huh? You want to be my friend? Let me think it over. Well, if you always know the cavern zone, one day we could be friends. It's too late. The <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you, Ma Wild, but who knows? Maybe one day I'll get to be your friend. Seriously, I, I I would really like to be your friend. I don't know. I just think it'd be kind of cool. You know, just just saying. You know, you know, man. You know, you just. One day, one day the ladies will dig me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyways, though, Doug Trio, talk to me. Trio, Trio, Trio. Am I will tell you? Yes, I'm the one who hit the rail. Where is it? It's in a crate washed by Merrick in the berry store. Should you go find it and then talk to Mr. Mime? This rail must be very something special because you guys took it like across the entire cavern zone. Like seriously, it's been like with Aaron to, oh, actually no, not with Aaron. It's been to Mawile, to Doug Trio, to, Marowak apparently like geez Anyways though Marowak you there you have something I want not your bone Marowak. What is there's a rail in the berry storage you want to check the place no way 
I've been watching the entrance all this time. No one has come in. I haven't seen a rail either. Ugh. You don't look a liar, though. I know, let's battle. If you win, I'll let you through. Without even a yes or no, here we go. And that rhymes. All right, let's go, Marowak. Boomerang and count off an iron tail. Jeez. I knew I upgraded freaking iron tail. I didn't think it was going to be that strong. Holy crap. Iron tail is amazing. Not as good as the butt stomp, but it's really good. Whoa, you're good. Okay, then. I'm telling you, I've seen no one. What? The trio tunnel then? Why didn't you say so right away? I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I had fun battling with you, though. I've got something to ask you. Can we be friends? Battle with me again. That'll help me become stronger. Then I can do an even better job protecting the berries. Great idea. Wait. You're looking for a rail, weren't you? Feel free to search. And there we go! Marowak's a friend! Yay! I actually love Marowak. He's one of my more favorite Pokemon of Gen 1, so... Awesome. Anyways, searching berries. Inspector Pikachu. Actually, Detective Pikachu. Yeah, it's Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, I just realized, yeah, it's Detective Pikachu. I'm kind of hoping that game gets an American release. It looks interesting. For those who don't know, it's basically Ace Attorney and Pokemon. So it's really cool. Anyways, though. Some berries. I like how we're just stealing the berries and Marowak doesn't even have a problem with it. It's kind of funny. Ooh, we got a big berry. Hmm. Neat. We got this over here. Another berry. We got this crate back here. Let's see what this is. Another... I, I really, it's kind of funny how America isn't even budging when we're stealing berries. Anyways, though. And oh, what's in? Oh, hey, Diglett. What's up? I don't know what you're doing in the crate, but whatever. Are you looking for the rail? I hid it in the caverns of the safest place. Where is it? It's under the sleeping Snorlax. Uh, I didn't mean to tell you that. How did you put it... Actually, then again, Snorlax could, could, would probably sleep through that. So, you know what? I'm actually going to believe that. But how would Snorlax... I was just going to say, how would Snorlax not feel that at all? A iron rail being put underneath him? You'd think you'd feel that, but whatever. I know. I don't want to make any friends return to the cavern zone. Remember, Snorlax can be cranky when you wake him up. A big bear should make him happy right away. A big bear, you say? Well... Good thing there's one right here. Okay, for a second I thought it despawned. I was like, are you kidding me? Am I going to have to leave the entire zone just so that I can get it? Because that would be really annoying. Anyways, though, as we saw, Snorlax is over here uh, in this crater of sorts. So what we're going to do is give him this nice, big, juicy, scarlet berry. You can tell him if they're trying to be descriptive. And we are going to give it to our Lord and Savior as an offering from Poke Park. There we go. <sighs> okay, I'll get up now. Please don't hit me with your Thunderbolt. And he just goes back to sleep. Welp, Snorlax. Sorry, buddy. You asked for it. I'm surprised. Huh? It's you again. Huh? You want me to move? Hmm, I'm hungry after a long nap. Bring me a berry, please. Yes, I'll move if you bring me a big berry. Well, my friend, guess what? Big berry on the house. That's how we do it. Whoa, that's a big berry? Is it for me? There you go. <laughs> I love seeing that every time. <laughs> just Peach is like, oh, guys, guys, what? <laughs> what was that? Did I hear some water flowing? Oh, really? Now we have a hot spring. Oh, my, that's the place that dug a hole to hide the rail. What? The hot spring in the caverns zone dried up. Well, that's what my research told me. It seems like it has returned. What a great surprise. I should tell everyone. But yeah, Snorlax's um, rear end was the reason the hot spring didn't exist. <laughs> it's so comfortable. I'll sleep here until the promised one comes back. The promised one. Huh. Anyways, Fampy's here for the hot spring. Who wouldn't? I don't blame him. And Raichu's also here for the hot spring. It's my evil arch nemesis Raichu. And also, while we're here, the rail has showed up. Let's pick it up. And just like before, super slow carrying speed. Now addressing the two new Pokemon who have shown up, we have Raichu and we have uh, Fampy. Fampy, you're gonna need a big berry to 
befriend. And unfortunately, there's only one big barrier when you first enter the zone. Meaning that to get Fampy, you're going to have to make a second visit, essentially. Raichu, however, is a pretty simple Pokemon, as in you just either... I forget if you chase him or battle him, but it's one of the simpler ones. Talk to me. Tough Pokemon are drawn to the even tougher Pokemon. Blazing in the lava zone has many tough Pokemon following him. I've been looking for somebody to play with. Can we play Chasing Me? Sure thing. Haha, -ha, I know I'll win. Cocky, are we? Alright, Richu. <laughs> Richu! Richu! <laughs> Oopsies. Raichu, bring it on. Great job, me, running straight into the wall. Alright, Raichu. Let's see what you got. There we go. That was a weird angle it sent him at. It was like, I know I like I ran I was running straight. I know it's because of the way my head collided with him, but he, like he went like flying straight right. Anyways, though, that was fun. Oh, say we'll be friends. There we go. My evil nemesis has been befriended. That's one fret down. And two more to go. I don't know, making a random number up. Anyways, though. Before we get into anything else, I should mention something that I've been kind of ignoring for the past little bit. And you've probably already seen it, too. Over here, we have an attraction. Bastion's attraction. However, we're not going to be covering that until next episode. But for now, we're going to be taking this rail. And we are going to try. And by try, I mean we will. Because there's nothing really stopping me except me not actually doing it. So, yeah. We will. Forget try. We will bring this rail back to Mr. Mime so we can get the minecart going. And everything will be all hunky-dory. Actually. Can I just bring this up while we're just waiting a moment to bring this back? What the heck does hunky-dory mean? Like, who even came that up? Like, who even came up with that? Like, what? What is a hunky-dory? What's... Who's hunky? Who's dory? Okay, actually, I know who dory is because... It's, okay. No, I don't know who dory is. You know... Forget, I just don't know what hunky-dory means. I just think it's a really weird expression. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who thinks that. Because hunky-dory is just weird. One day, Pikachu will have fast carrying speed. I guess since while this is going on, uh, how have you guys been doing recently? Um, because, you know, we don't really get... Well, okay, we do get to talk to each other in the comments and stuff like that. And some of you on Twitter uh, talk to me. But we don't really talk together a lot during videos. So let me know in the comments. What's been going on recently? What's been good, as they would say? Anyways, though, here we are. Mr. Mime, here's your dang rail. Never talk to me again. That's it. That's the rail. You found it. Thank you. Now let me put it back. Mr. Mime. Now the rails are connected again, thanks to you. All we need to do now is get the minecart back. And we know who has the minecart. That would be... Gibble over there. But, I think we're going to be saving that for the next episode. So, next time on Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure, we are going to be getting the minecart, going to see Bastiodon, and hopefully beginning our journey into the lava zone after fixing the minecart. Alright? See you guys then shoot that camera oh never mind i can't shoot the camera see you guys then